welcome to Lucky Creations, where I feature my fabulous crafty life. Hello, crafty friends. Welcome back to Lucky Creations. Today, I am going to do something fun, hopefully sort of short, but I'm going to be showing you how I decorated my journals for the new year, 2024. So I'm going to go ahead and just show, do some show and tell and also do some demo as well. So let's get going. Okay, so when I last left you, I was sh showing you the planner that I chose to use for 2024, which is my Happy Planner, which was initially a 20, an 18 month uh, planner. And so I've shown you some of the this first setup of um, first week of January. I have actually gone through and pre um, worked all the way actually up to February. So I'll probably show you a little bit of that. But I really want to focus today on showing you how to decorate the journal. So I showed you that I have this happy planner uh pin holder and kind of book closure i guess you can say this is happy planner brand that i purchased sometime last year so i have that with this cute little pin from dollar tree on all of my journals i do some type of um i don't know what you call these some type of decor i call them hangs but something that hangs down to decorate my journal and of course my favorite color is purple and I love bling so I tend to incorporate a lot of um, my favorite color my daughter's favorite color in my journals now so this one here is one that I made um, for my journal so how I, I want to talk about how you can insert your we're gonna just call them journal charms okay so this first style of journal charm holder that I have here this actually came with a happy planner that I purchased last year, uh, or it came with one similar, where it has this little about, I'd say maybe three inches of acetate that was punched, um, and it had like a grommet in there. Well, I, I like that method, so I actually have recreated this. So I think I talked about this in another video, but you can recreate these by just keeping acetate. So one um, suggestion that I would give you, when you buy your planners, a lot of times they come wrapped in some of the thicker acetate. Keep that or keep some of it because it can be helpful for doing these kind of things. As you can see, this one is a little bit flimsy just because this one was um, for, I got it from some other type of packaging. But the ones that come with the Happy Planner, which I'm going to show you in a second, they tend to be a little bit more sturdy. So keep those, number one. Okay. And so how you can create this, what I simply did was I have a set of grommet pliers. And I do apologize if there's a lot of movement because I'm not in my normal um, setup. But I have these grommet pliers that I purchased this set from Harbor Freight and Tools. has nothing to do with crafting. It's a tool place, but they actually had this on sale um, I think I paid like $4 for this. So anyway, I have this and I use it. It came with the little grommets that are in like the gold color, the silver color, copper, pewter. Um, so yeah, this was a pretty good little tool considering when I got it, it was on sale for like four bucks. So I basically used that to punch the hole in the acetate. Punched the holding acetate and then added the grommet to that as well. I'm trying to get something to cover up so you can see what I'm looking at. Hopefully you can see that. So I punched that hole using those grommet pliers in this little piece of acetate to create this little holder. Okay, so the holder was something that I created. Well, I created this, and each year I create one of these, or for each journal. I basically got these particular beads um, came from, most of them came from Hobby Lobby. Some of them came from Dollar Tree. These little uh, holders here with the little beads that are inside are Dollar Tree. 
Hopefully you can see that. That's Dollar Tree. Okay. So I got that from Dollar Tree. And yeah, I create was able to create this cute little it's basically the beads that are again in the our favorite colors inside this little bottle. And it has the cork to hold it. So I basically I input my name. I don't know if you can see that, but each I got some alphabet uh, beads. These are particular ones are gold round. And I added my name. Okay. So these beads, again, these ones came from Hobby Lobby. So I just used the, this, this particular one is the stretchy um, line. I don't have any more. I used the last bit, so I can't show you. But it almost looks like fishing line but it's more for crafting i got it out of the crafting section at hobby lobby and so these beads were in a pack um the pack that those beads the most of pretty much i think all of these beads were from bead co and they came in this pack so these all came from hobby lobby so i just kind of used these beads to create this okay well, um, these little small ones that are in between actually came, were in the same pack. Um, the little uh, rubber ones in the middle, they actually came from Hobby Lobby on a separate one of those uh, individual line of beads. And I, again, I have that on that stretchy wire. These can also double as bracelets, by the way. Um, but I used that same line and those beads, line of beads, and then the beads from the Bead Co. to create this. Okay. So these, the little hearts were on a string of beads sold individually at Hobby Lobby as well. They're actually hearts in their iridescent turquoise color. I thought they were extremely cute. So I added those. They're also on the stretchy line. I added my name with these beads. I think I may have gotten these gold beads from Hobby Lobby. Not quite sure. But added my name. And then, of course, I've already showed you this little bottle with the beads inside. Hopefully, it's focusing. Okay. That came from Dollar Tree and just really cute. Okay. And then, the so these, okay, this is also stretchy. Um, again, these beads were a combination of beads that I purchased from either Dollar Tree. I think the silver ones definitely came from Dollar Tree. The blue ones, I can't believe, remember if they're Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby. I think I bought all these beads at the same time. That's kind of why I remember. Um, and this one on the end, I just put this little uh, cute circular one with the iridescent purple lavender color. On the end, that one was also in this bead co-pack. So as you can see, I, I paid $10 for these. I believe they were on sale for, I don't know, 25, 30% off when I bought them, maybe a little bit more. So I got them at a great deal. And I haven't even touched the surface of, and I've, I've made several of these so far. So great deal for those beads. Okay, and then the final thing that I did on this one was I made a pom-pom, which I'm going to demonstrate how to make this here in a second. I'm going to make a smaller one um, for my new journal. So this particular yarn was yarn that I got from Walmart a while ago. And it is this yarn that is kind of wound up in different colors. So I think that's very, very pretty. And again, just happened to be my colors and my daughter's favorite color. So most of the things that I do are going to be in those two colors, the purple and the turquoisey colors. And the fact that I found a ribbon that has both of those, or excuse me, yarn that has both of those, it created this cute little pom-pom. Okay. Okay. So, and then all my final thing that I did, I do have some, uh, some of the jump rings, I guess you call these things little silver jump ring that I just attached my beads to using that same line and then I added this uh, clasp this was a Dollar Tree clasp I believe Dollar Tree clasp I've got some of the smaller ones but this one 
I'm pretty confident that this one came from Dollar Tree because it was one of the ginormous ones. And added the clasp, and there you go. I have this cute custom journal jewel charm. Okay. So there's that one. Now I've, I'll show a few others real quick. Um, the one that I used last year in my, well, first of all, I'll show this one. So this is my devotional Bible study journal that I take to whenever I go to Bible study or, or um, any other, my little prayer meetings, I take this journal um, with me. So I created one specifically for that. And this was last year, so this is an old, old one. But this one I actually have. Let's see. What I did in here, I didn't have any more acetate. So here I actually, I just want to remove the cover here just so you can see what I'm working with here. Here I actually put the, the grommet hole right on the corner of my planner. And this actually has worked really good. So if you don't have acetate, you can just, you know, if you have grommet or, or you don't even really have to use the grommet, but if you have um, a hole punch, you can use a hole punch. I, if you're going to not use the grommet and you're going to just do it with a hole punch, I suggest putting a couple layers of tape on there just so that it, you know, is secure. This is pretty heavy uh, material, but still you don't want it to rip. So anyway, that's another hack if you don't have the grommet, but you know, invest just in a grommet that would be great but you can also just put it directly on the cover and again this has been on here for a year and it has not affected the book at all it actually i actually like this method better because it's more actually more sturdy you can see how that's it's just sturdy and secure okay so just to show you this charm um, I did, again, I put my name in different beads and the purples, different shades of the purple. I see I'm loving the purples and the golds. So I have this charm with my name on it. I also added um, Prayer Sisters because I take this journal with me to, again, my ministry, my um, women's ministry. Okay. And again, I use that same Bead & Co. pack of beads to create the this charm. And uh, these ones are Dollar Tree little Dollar Tree uh, beads that I made this charm. So again, I these ones I used. Um, did I use the same. This one is the stretchy. I think these are all the stretchy ones. Sometimes I use the stretchy kind. But I may, some of these may not be on the stretchy one just because of the different uh, clear, uh, clear, what do you call this stuff, line that I have. But basically, I always use that clear material, try to get the one with a little bit of stretch to create these. And here I just tied it all around uh, a single jump ring. Hopefully you can see this, it's focusing okay, I think it is. See, it's just one larger, uh, one larger loop here for the jump ring. And then I put it on a little, this one I have on a little smaller. Usually I use these smaller ones. The one um, that I you made this year is a little bit of an anomaly. But you can always take these off. If it's bulking down your journal, you can always take it off and put it back on. So I just wanted to show you that. It's just some options that you can do for your charms and they're very easy to put back on and remove okay this one i don't have a pin on it so what i'm going to do i also have one now this was one that i this is my my planner that i've decided to use for work for 2024 my mini happy planner um this was a a was this an 18 month no, this is a 12 month. So it actually go went from June 2023 to, to what, July 2024. So after, I think June or July, whatever time it goes through, I'm going to have to redate the rest of it. But it, from now up until 
june is the right date so anyway just a mini happy planner i'm just using this for work i like this style because it has a monthly calendar and it also has what i really like about it is each week it has a section for notes um important and it has a little calendar so you can write i like to take notes and write like what important tasks i'm working on so this is actually perfect for work and I got this, believe it or not, I got this from Ross um, around the summer for like, it was $5. $5 for this whole little Happy Planner Mini. So again, you can find sometimes, find these things at some of the um, discount type of stores, department stores as well. Okay, so this is my, my 2024 work planner. So what I'm going to do here today is I am going to create a pom-pom. A smaller just a smaller one for my work planner um, but I wanted to put a pin holder in here and so one of the things I wanted to share with you is how I created my pin holder and this is gonna be the super simplest and you're gonna be like wow why did I think of that heck and this is something I totally thought about I didn't see any other people do this so I am like taking credit for this one because this is my my little invention here but again, when you get these planners and these books, they come with heavier acetate. Um, this one came wrapped around heavier acetate. So literally all I did to make my pen holder, it was already punched. So acetate is already punched on the journal. It's just, it's like cover in the journal. I just basically cut this out because it was already punched. It's already punched. It's just the packaging that came with the journal, which is heavy acetate. I literally cut cut it down, rounded the corners using my corner rounder. So I rounded the corners. And all I did was with my X-Acto knife, guys, I literally, sorry for, I wonder what kind of glare happened in here. Sorry for whatever you might be seeing. <laughs> But I literally used my X-Acto knife and just slit two slits in there. And voila, I have a perfectly good pen holder, which fits perfectly on my planner because it was already punched. It's literally the packaging that came with the planner. So look. Just like that, I have a pen holder. Isn't that brilliant? So keep some of that packaging, especially the ones that are already punched, because there's just so many things you can do with it. You can make these little charm holders. So if, say, if I didn't want to punch the hole directly in my planner for whatever reason, I don't want to defile my planner itself. Or maybe I don't want to keep a charm on it. I just want to test it out. Whatever you decide to do, you can use either one of these methods to add some flair to your journal. With this one, you can move it. If you don't want to have it there, I can move it and put it, if I put it in the right one, I can move it and, hey, now I have my charm inside the journal. Whatever you prefer, those are all methods that you can use to decorate your journal and to add a nice pen. Isn't, isn't that just brilliant? So I can switch out my pins. Say I want a fancy pin this day. I just want to keep the pin with me. Cut two slits in this clear acetate that tape that's already cut. And voila, look at that. That is just amazing. Okay, so real quick, because I promise I won't make this video too long. What I want to do is, so for my main planner for 2024... Um, I, I made this one, but I think I'm probably going to use this one maybe in the latter half of the year just because I'm going to change. I know I'm going to change this cover. I know this journal won't even get me through all of the whole 12 months. So I think I'm going to hold on to this one till another time. And so I also, since this is in the black and gold theme too, and I've decorated it in black and gold started out. Um, I want to use this black and gold. So basically these are in those beads. When I was explaining how, how I made my, uh, charm for the previous journal, 
I bought like packs of these beads. So if you don't have time or don't aren't artistic enough to like want to put together these beads, you can buy these beads together in packs. I actually got these ones from Hobby Lobby. They are regularly $7.99, but they always are on sale. So I probably got them for closer to four or five dollars. I got them on sale, but they are nice silver and gold in the colors of my journal. I also purchased at the same time this little pom pom from Hobby Lobby. It was a dollar ninety nine. This is actually the uh, paper studio, and this one is for an agenda actually. And this one actually is neat because it has the uh, the little um I can't think of what you call these little rings, but it has the ring already. So all I'm going to do for this journal for this is to really quickly create my charm and I am going to attach it to my planner. And the methods that I'm gonna use, just to demonstrate to you how you can do this, I'm gonna attach it directly to my planner. Now, I don't have the jump ring on this one. And actually, you know what, I, I'm thinking that I, one thing I can do is this is already attached. This isn't going anywhere. Sorry, I'm not on camera. It's not going anywhere. So let me show you this super quick hack that I'm going to do. I'm not going to even use a jump ring or anything else. I'm just going to grab a sticker book here. Uh, this particular one is um, Happy Planner, Me My Big Ideas. This is uh, Mini Petite. Oh, Choose Happy. I don't know. Choose happy. Oh, guess that's the name of it. Choose happy. Okay. I guess they're mini meant for mini, mini petite, whatever. I just want to find a cute little sticker to cover up this price area here. So I'm just going through my sticker book here and I'm just grabbing this one because this is the one that's next to me. I don't feel like fussing over it. Oh, here's a cute gold one. What does this say? This one, I cannot even read what it says. Is it upside down? I don't know what that says. I can't read it, but I'll try to put it here. But whatever it says, I'm going to use that. So basically, I'm just going to come here and put this sticker right over top this little thing here okay and i'm gonna just trim this i could do this different ways but this is just what i'm preferring to do now I, my whole punch has walked away from me so normally i would just punch a hole i don't have it so i'm just gonna take my scissors because my i can't find my hole punch right now and just and yeah <laughs> I'll clean this up later when I can find my hole punch, but I'm trying to demonstrate this and go pretty quick, okay? So all I'm going to do, just clearing this up a little bit, take my little thing and clean that up. So there, I've covered up that price thing, okay? So now all I'm going to do is attach this to my little ring here. Now, I can do this several ways. I can just put it straight through if I'm really being lazy. Or, let's see. I'm trying to avoid having to go get anything else or trying to open this up. So, I do have my little tweezers. I could actually, actually what I'm going to do, I'm not going to even do that. Because I want to make this super simple. So, I'm just going to take a little piece of this string. Now, normally I wouldn't do this. I would be a lot more like not so crafty actually i need a little bit bigger one to work with um i would be using like a jump ring or something but i'm trying to make this quick and simple just to show you it you can be do stuff quick and simple and it can be just as nice and the fact that i'm using this blue it's not going to even matter because this is just serving the purpose of closing this off i'm going to just tie it off i'm not going to do it extra tight because this probably won't stay i'm just going to Put it on there and make but make it tight enough to make sure it's secure. I'm gonna cut it off and voila. Now I have my little pom-pom att uh, attached to the jewels. Now I can cut this. I'm gonna cut this black part off some. Just because I'm extra, I'm gonna cut that down a little bit. Okay. So there. There is my 
I know this is all over the place. I do apologize and I'm trying to be quick. So now I have my little my little charm here. Okay. Cute enough. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just remove my journal. I am going to get my grommet pliers. Bring them back. And I'm just going to punch the hole. And I literally just had it in my hand. Y'all saw me. Right? <laughs> this is what happens. Here we go. Like, where did I cover them up? Okay, I'm going to bring back the grommet pliers. And I'm just going to pick a... Do I want silver? I use gold all the time. What color is the ring? I guess I'll use gold just because the ring is gold. But that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to go grab a gold grommet from my pack and I'm trying to do this super quick I do apologize if it seems like this is all over the place because I'm I'm not at my normal desk or location where I record so do apologize okay if you don't have a hole punch it's easy if you can punch the hole ahead of time but if not that's okay you can use your grommet so I want to get I want because I'm using a big ring here I can leave a little bit of extra space but I want to go at least I don't want to go too far over that it could potentially rip, but I, I don't want to go too wide either so that I don't have enough to place to put my grommet. So usually I just kind of come in the corner here and kind of eyeball it. And I kind of do it a little bit like not in the very corner. I make as long as I'm on where the fabric -y part is pretty good. Now, because I don't have my hole punch, I'm just going to use my grommet pliers just to kind of create that hole. And I'm just turning it around to kind of clean that hole up. And you see there, now I have my hole, okay? So next, I'm going to grab my little grommet and put my grommet in. Now, think about which side you want the opening to be. I usually, just to make it neater, usually put the part that's already attached on the outside, then I'm going to take my pliers and, sorry, I'm trying to hold it so y'all can see it. Now, let me see which side do I do it on. I always forget which side. So I might be doing it wrong, but just take my pliers and just trying to hold this at an angle y'all can see it and do it at the same time and just apply some pressure here. Okay, did I do it right? I don't think I, nope, I always do it backwards. <laughs> Sorry, I can't uh, come off camera. Okay, so I did it backwards. So the side that the little loop is in, the little, I don't know if you can see that. There's like a little round guy here. That has to be on the side where you are, the side that has the excess extra part hanging out. Okay. So pretty use, easy to use, but just make sure you do it on the right side. You see, I did it the wrong one first time, so there I'm going to redo it. Okay, and now I'm just going to apply that pressure again. Just apply that pressure. And there we have it. Now, I, I didn't do that because I'm, I, you see, y'all saw me struggling turning around, so I'm going to have to go again. But you just apply a good amount of pressure to it until that grommet closes. And there you have it. You have a perfectly good grommet. Now, be careful. Make sure you get it all. What I tend to do is once I, um, once I get it, I tend to turn it like this just to make sure it's all the way around closed while I'm applying pressure. Okay? Take it out. And there you have it. There's my grommet. There is my grommet. Okay, you see? Closed perfectly. There it is on both sides. So now, all I have to do is just attach. Oh, let me put it on my journal first. Put it back on my journal. Put it back on my journal here. 
and oh i can attach it now i don't care for <laughs> i'm probably going to change this little where i have this little blue um yarn just because i i've been kind of lazy there but i'm trying to do this super fast and, and there you have it there is my new journal charm isn't that cute and I even have that little quote, which again, I can't even read what it says right now. Use this morning to be something about don't be mediocre. Anyway, <laughs> there it goes. Um, I will probably eventually do something else just for this, but quick and simple. There it is. There it is. Isn't it cute? Isn't it cute, guys? Isn't it cute? Okay, so I have this one because I have a pin already. I don't need to create a pin holder because I actually have a pin holder. So I'm going to just put my pin holder in my journal. And let me go ahead and grab my pin. I'm going to just put this one in here because my other one, the cutesy, cutesy one. Oh, here it is. There it is. Get the cute one. Get the cute one. Let's get the little cute one. And there you have it. So I have my journal now with my cute little pom pom that I and charm. And now I just gave my journal a little bit more flair. Isn't that cute? Very, very cute. Okay. So now I want to real quickly. You remember this one we didn't have a pom-pom all i want to do is just add a little pom-pom on this one so i'm going to add a little pom-pom using this ribbon and so i have from dollar tree these pom-pom makers now what i used to create this pom-pom was the larger size i used the larger one for the large pom-pom Dollar Tree sells these little pom-pom makers in packs of two. Um, so you get the, the originally the larger one comes in an individual pack by itself. The small and medium one comes in a pack of two. So you get the small one and the medium. And I've already taken it out and of course... I took it out ahead of time and it's walked away. Of course, the one that I wanted to use is MIA, which is the very tiniest one. It always seems to happen that way. So I'm just going to keep on moving and I'll go with the medium size one. Really, honestly, I've seen people make them um, on other videos and they say that it's not really that much difference between the medium and the small. So I'm just going to use the medium. Okay. So there's a... Here's a little trick to how you can use these. I've learned that basically this comes apart. And when you start your ribbon, you're basically going to go from one end, loop it, and to the other. So you're going to basically need to start it like, I'd say if you start here, because then you can start here and then you can go all around that way. Okay, so just if it's confusing on where you start i usually just open up one side so it's a straight line and then i start and go around then i push this then i bring this one open and then go around there okay so just so it's not so confusing okay so this it should be all together like this so i'm going to take my yarn and i'm using the same um ombre yarn and i'm just going to take a little bit not a, you don't need a whole lot and just kind of like wrap it around and hold it with my finger just to be a little bit of access. And start just wrapping it. You don't have to start in any particular place, but you do want to make sure that you're covering it, okay? So just start wrapping it. And you don't want to cover up where these long um, little flats are. One other uh, tip that I've learned in making these, don't pull too tight as you are... Um, doing your ribbon because you're going to have to cut and it's just going to be harder for your scissors to get you want to make it snug but not tight okay just think about you're going to have to have room to put your scissors under there to cut it 
Um, one other if word of advice, the thicker you make this, you are going to need really strong scissors. I actually have not been able to actually use regular scissors in making the larger pom-poms, okay, because they were too thick. So I actually used the sharp kitchen knife um, at one point to make mine, and then I think I used that one that you see there. I used... Um, I think I used some of my X-Acto knife as well. So, okay, so I got this one. I don't need to care to make this too thick. So I'm going to just move that one down and open up the other one and just keep on. Now start looping around there. Okay, that's all you do. Now those will be connected and you'll cut the, that at the end. But just start looping, looping, looping to get your pom-pom. So loop, loop, loop. Now, this is ombre, but as you can see, I haven't got to my purple yet. So, unfortunately, I don't think mine is going to be very much ombre just because this is the small pom-pom. So, just FYI, if you're trying to go for the ombre and you're using this kind of ribbon, because my pom-pom is so... I'm making a, a small one here. I'm not going to get the purple, which kind of I'm bummed about because I really wanted the purple. But it seems like the purple is way far away. So that's the only thing about this so-called ombre stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it, I'm not going to get the purple. So it really is not going to be ombre. So bummer there. Now, I've never, I don't know what it would do if I tried to like get another color in Hey, why not? Let's just try it. I'm actually going to try it because I, I did want some more color in there. So I'm going to actually grab the second color here. Let's just experiment. I don't know how much of this I'm going to need. So I'm, I'm leaving this one kind of attached. I'm just moving it out the way. But I'm just going to go in with a second color. Why not? This will either work or it won't work. So I'm going to almost like I'm doing it all over because I want two colors. Okay, I don't know if I should cut this one off. I don't want to cut it off yet because I'm scared if I could, if I mess the whole thing up. So I'm going to just hold that. And I got to be careful not to. Actually, I'm going to go for it. I think I need to cut that though because it's going to be in my way otherwise, right? I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it because I have to cut it anyway when I, when I separate them. Okay, so I'm going to cut it. Now, I'm going to just go in with some of the pink. I, again, I prefer my purple, but my ombre is not cooperating with me now. So, I'm just sorry if I'm off camera doing this. I'm just going to, but I'm being careful not to cover up that piece because I just want it to be two colors. So, here's how you can incorporate multiple colors. Now, this, again, I should have probably thought to do this um different i'm going to also go back over the other side with that same pink too because i know i haven't done this very good at all <laughs> so but it's not covered that great but i'm just experimenting because i really wanted that ombre and i'm kind of bummed that this is because i'm having to use this smaller one that i'm not getting the two colors so i'm just going to open up the other side if i can actually I'm going to have to cut this in order to do that. And I hope I'm not like just killing the whole thing by doing this, but we'll find out. Because I really, you're not supposed to cut anything until you're done, but I'm being a rebel right now. I'm being a rebel. So we're going to see what this does. Okay, look, now look, now look, I'm getting the ombre from the pink. Now I'm getting some light pink. But well, why couldn't I get my ombre from my other color? Okay, this is going to be really, really thick. So I think I got enough contrast, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to cut off a good little amount of this because I know I'm going to have to tie it off, okay? So now what you do is you put it together and with some nice sharp scissors. Now I'm not confident that I have any that are, is even sharp enough, um, so I may have to deviate let me see i brought a new exacto knife that's a little bit sharper so i'm gonna grab it just in case i have to deviate from the scissors because 
I had trouble cutting this last time. So basically what you want to do is you want to cut in between, cut in the middles. And as you can see, these scissors are not budging. <laughs> they aren't even trying to cut. So I'm going to go very carefully with this X-Acto knife. And this is where you got to be careful because you don't cut yourself now. Uh, you you got to be careful. I'm just going to... Yeah, and this is working much better. So yeah, scissors, if they are not sharp enough, they it will not cut. X-Acto knife, brand new X-Acto knife is working just great. I'm just going down the middle. Now, because I'm not using scissors, I'm just being careful to hold this together because... The thing is that you don't want it to unravel. If it unravels, then you're going to have a mess. And I will show you a picture of what that is, what that will look like. Because I actually did that the first time I tried to make a pom-pom. Oh, my camera went a little wacky there. So hopefully you guys are still with me. So I can't take my hand off. I need it to finish this, okay? So I'm very carefully doing this, making sure I don't cut myself. Because ain't that serious. Don't want an injury in trying to make this little pom-pom. Okay, you know I got little strings everywhere, but again, I'm not going to worry about them until I get this all cut because if I take anything loose now, I'm going to end up with a whole bunch of strings. Okay, so the key is make sure you've cut everything down the middle. Make sure you have the whole thing cut. I think I pretty much got it all cut. So now I'm going to take my string here. My loose string, while I'm holding it still, I'm not going to take anything loose. I'm going to take my string and put it around, all the way around, and tie it off snugly. Snugly, but don't pull too tight to break your string. I made that mistake too. I broke my string and then the whole thing just fell apart. So go around it a couple times, snug and taut but not too tight that you're going to pop your string, pop your ribbon. And this is Walmart ribbon, so, I mean, better quality than the Dollar Tree ribbon, but it's still, it's probably not the best ribbon in the world. Okay, so I'm going to go around it, oops, a couple times there. Get it snug. I want it nice and snug before I lift anything up. And then I'm just going to, tie it off here okay moment of truth so i'm this is interesting it's looking cute so far with the pinks so now let me start pulling it apart so then you just want to start pulling it apart and because i i might have to just so i don't think i got uh -huh. this is where you gotta be careful because i think i might have okay there we go i think i had something that i did not cut all the way gotta be careful because you do not want to cut that string that you just tied that would be a hot mess express okay okay it's coming apart so far so good okay and you may just have to like take it apart like that take it off if it's not coming off because I think I might have one that I maybe didn't cut all the way. But look! Uh, oh my gosh! And <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Um, something happened. Well, I... <laughs> okay, you guys are seeing it real time. Um, something must have got cut in the blue... May I think it was that one that I cut early, but for the most part, I have a pom-pom. I got some stragglers that are coming out. Oh, no. You, you guys are seeing it. But there's my pom-pom. Uh, okay, yeah. This is not, so this is gonna, not going to be very durable. And I'm going to have to cut it. <laughs> Give it a little trim up because... And these are not my best scissors. Where did my best ones go? They are. It's not walking. But, um, yeah, I don't know if this one is <laughs> going to last. I really don't want it to just, like, come apart totally. But I think I got all the stragglers that were going to 
come out. Okay, so there we go. We got a little pom pom, y'all. Oh no. So, um, hmm. So some lessons learned in doing this, because again, I think where I went wrong and why I have so many of them falling out is because I cut that initial string and trying to do the two tone. But it's cute. It's cute. Um, I think I'm just going to have to reinforce this with another tie or so in the middle or somewhere. Um, but yeah, it's cute. Okay. So basically what I'm going to do is once I get it all trimmed nicely, I'm just going to attach it to my planner and there we'll have another little charm that will go on my work planner. So I'll put the picture here with the final result after I finish trimming it up and there we have it. So just to recap, we went over how we made a pin holder. So I'm going to put my little pin holder in here just to remind you. We made a cute little pin holder using acetate and the packaging that comes with the journal. You can decorate this. I think I have a little bit of adhesive stuck on the side, but right now I'm just trying to get it done. And I also created, we punched a hole with the grommet pliers. Now to attach this, I can do several things, but for now I'm just going to tie it right on my little, in the middle of that little jump ring. This one I have a little bling one because I got this from a, I think an old piece of cheap jewelry or something. I'm just going to tie it off right now just to, just for the purposes of this. I'm just going to tie it off. Just to let it hang a little bit. I'm not going to go all the way to the end because I want it to just hang a little bit. And tie off the excess. And there you have it. Please ignore all the stragglies that fell out. And I have to trim this up a little bit more too. I know that. But yeah, there we go. There is my Dollar Tree. <laughs> Dollar Tree Pom Pom Maker pom-pom using two different color ribbons in my custom journal there you have it folks thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video if you thought it was helpful you've learned anything some tips that you might utilize please go ahead and give give me a like or give me a subscribe um i'm doing this for fun this is just something i like to do like to share what i have learned in this journey of journaling so yeah please give me some love and stay tuned for more wonderful videos from Lockie Creations happy new year and as always be blessed